Hey guys, today we're uh, in the shop and I want to build a wiping stick for my Jack Brooks 20 bore trade gun, the Type G trade gun. Now there's some uh, indication in the, in the literature and in period paintings of uh, especially natives carrying wiping sticks above and beyond their ramrod. There's a picture of one. So I think it's a, it's a neat thing to have with this, uh, with this trade gun. So early sort of first half of the, uh, the 18th century trade guns, it seems people carried a wiping stick for their smooth bore. And so we're going to make one. So first off, I've got a half inch hickory dowel and uh, just a half inch ramrod. It is hickory. It is straight grain. There's no run out. So what I want to do is take this uh, wiping stick, put a hand make a ramrod tip. So it's going to be basic. It's not going to be tapered or anything. You're not going to have any fancy anything on this. The only thing I'm, I am going to do is it'll have a handle on one end and a 10, 30 second tapped tip on the other. Uh, cold rolled sheet steel uh, like this, you know, just something that you would get from Lowe's, Home Depot. And I'll make the tip out of this flat stock. It's thicker and it'll hold up better than trying to make the end of the tip out of sheet steel. Obviously you can't do that, put any threads in it. So I want to tap that for threads. I'll take, I think I'm going to use this piece of oak, sort of one inch by one inch actual square for a handle. And we'll just drill this end out and run it down and have a handle something about like that. But I'll octagon this, this off um, so it's not square and work it a little bit. And then stain it. And I'm thinking uh, maybe wrap this handle in in some leather that is pinned and glued that's almost bore size. So this can be carried in the bore with the handle sticking out of the muzzle and um, a little bit of friction from that leather holding it in. And then that tip will hold um, some sort of flat jag. Um, I either make one or, uh, or integrate it, I'm not sure. And so that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get at it. We'll walk over to the uh, workbench. Okay, the first thing we need to do is cut out our sheet for our ramrod tip body. So since we have a half inch ramrod, uh, we need to make the body that'll wrap around this and maintain roughly a half inch. And you can get as perfect as you want. Um, I'm not really interested in super accuracy. This is a trade gun. This is not gonna have been any sort of fancy rod. So a uh, half inch diameter, the circumference of a, of a half inch diameter is 1.571. So we need to get our calipers and open that up to 1.571. And that will give us uh, a tiny bit of overlap. I'll actually go uh, 1.58 to give us a little bit of overlap. We can remove that if we need to. So we'll take our calipers, lock them down, run the edge on the edge of the steel, one on one of these on the edge of the steel, and the other will cut your guideline. All right. So I don't know if you can see this, but there's a guideline etched in there, and that's where we will saw this out. So let's head over the vise and get this sawed. So here we are at the vise. I've got the sheet steel in the vise here, and we're just gonna cut this down, and, uh, and I'll fast forward through this so you guys don't have to uh, suffer, suffer this part of it. All right. So we've got our piece cut out. Um, didn't come out too straight, so I'll 
straighten that out. And uh, so I used just a hacksaw and a small jeweler saw with a fine blade. It's deeper than the hacksaw, so I needed it to get that last little bit of cut. All right, so let's go over to the grinder and, um, and grind this square. All right, so roughly the way we want it. So now it's time to shape it. All right, so we're gonna come over here to the vise and we wanna open this vise up just a little bit larger than what we're gonna to use to shape this tip uh, body with. So I'm just gonna use a drill bit that's a little bit smaller than a half inch in diameter, the body, and we're gonna form this piece around that drill bit. And you'll need a, a ball peen hammer or some kind of peening hammer once you get down here fairly low. We wanna get this pretty squared. And we're going to get it started turning it into our circle. And you're just gonna want this beaded as round, beaten as round as, as you can. And I got a little work yet to do, so let's keep at it. All right, so we've got it beat down the way we want it, round and overlapping. So we need to silver solder that seam closed. So let's get at that. All right, so what we'll do is I've got a little tray with a piece of wood screwed on the bottom full of lava rock. And that's where I like to do my small silver soldering. So it's easy enough to put a small part in here and silver solder it. So we're gonna put some flux where we want that solder to run, which is right in that seam. And what we're using is StaySilv white brazing flux. So this is good good uh, silver brazing flux. And then we will use some safety silv. This is 1 16th inch, 56% silver brazing alloy. So this is much harder than uh, soldering. So this is what I like to use for my sights, um, anything like that. This is good, a good way to uh, to solder a, a strong, strong joint. So let me get some snippers. So full disclosure, I haven't done this hundreds of times like a lot of the guys, um, you know, on the ALR forum and stuff like that. So I've done four or five of these, four or five sets of ramrod pipes, which is a similar um, process. And um, so if I fumble around a little bit, look a little goofy, um, that's why. All right, 
So we'll snip a few small pieces of this silver solder and stick it right in, I don't know if you can see this, but it's going right in that brazed joint and it's just gonna lay there. We don't want too much because all of it that goes on there beyond what we need has to be filed out. So just so we're safety first kind of guys, we'll put some gloves on. Gas, you need to get the MAP Pro Gas. So that's the yellow can. MAP Gas is much hotter. And the melting point of this solder is something like a thousand degrees. I don't, I don't recall off the top of my head, but it's much hotter than, uh, than your standard solder gets. So let's get at it. We, and we, what we want is red hot on the steel. And once it reaches the, the melting temperature of the silver solder, the 56% silver, um, then it'll begin to flow. And we'll touch that up as we need to. And then we will quench it in some water. So, red hot. So, our seam is fully filled. Now we're gonna go file this out. We still have to put the, um, the base on, but for now we're gonna go get this rough shaped and, um, and then go from there. Okay, so we're gonna cut our bar stock with the hacksaw, just a little half inch piece, enough to set that pipe on and then braise that on. Look how fast I am with the saw. dunk that in the water that's pretty hot so we've got our little piece of bar stock about three sixteenths thick and that is going to go just like this on the edge on the end and then we'll braise that on so let's do that and for this step we just need uh, a piece of scrap wire to tie these two pieces together And it doesn't have to be too fancy. Just hold them in place. And red hot. So our tip is silver soldered on and now we'll get over and grind this thing down and to grind this down it's going to get hot so you want some water to quench this in as you're using the belt sander to uh to grind it down so i kind of grind a little bit starts to get hot quench it grind a little bit and quench it so let's see what we can do So basically what we're doing is just taking this down from square to round and we want to make it fit um, the body of the of the tip itself. So you can do that with hacksaw, you can cut it down lots of different ways. I just use a belt grinder. Belt sander, sorry. So now we have our ramrod pipe tip and a nice thick end to nice thick end to tap. 
So we need to square that tip up, do a little uh, last minute filing. And, and so we'll do a little bit of, of filing and then I'll show you what I'll do about the color. All right, so that's filed the way I want it. I want that seam to show. And that tip, round it off so not so sharp. And debird this end, keeping that flat because that's gonna mate with the wood. So let's head over and get this thing looking like it's got some age on it. All right, so once more with the torch. And we'll put a little fire blue on it, so. So not too bad, got a little age on it. All right, next step. All right, next step, we're gonna take our tip here and run a drill down the center to kind of clean out some of that solder and also make it where this drill bit will fit just right. All right, so we're back at the drill bit and that bit will fit right down in there. So it's got a little uh, little help keeping us from bending it on the vise. Now we're gonna uh, drill and tap our tip. So we wanna get centered as possible and you can do a lot of math if you like on getting it just right. I want it close enough and put a small tap in the center Verify that that is where I want it. And now we're gonna drill that out. Looks good, I'm gonna get a little oil. Put a drop of oil on there and continue on. So there's our hole drilled in the tip, and now we need to tap it. And we'll put a little lube on the tap. Make sure we're square. A few turns, back it out. And run that on down. Make sure the threads are clean. And we are tapped. So there's a ramrod tip. Simple, they can be tapered, they can be polished, they can be done of brass, lots of different ways, but there's your ramrod tip. Not very pretty one, because it's gonna be for a trade gun, and it's simple, uh, basic, but there you have it. And we can put on our 1032 tip. This is a tip for a 12 gauge, and she looks beautiful.
So let's get it on the uh, let's get it on the stick.